Hi, this is William from Great Affordable Watches and today I'm gonna go through some good alternatives to the Daniel Wellington. Daniel Wellington is a very popular watch these days or I should say the design is very popular, the Bauhaus look but many people think that Daniel Wellington watches in general are very overpriced and offers a bad value for your money. So in this video I thought I'd go through some cheaper alternatives, watches in the same price range as the Daniel Wellington and some more expensive alternatives. So let's get started with some alternatives that are cheaper than the Daniel Wellington but offers a very good value instead. You can get a Timex Fairfield. It's a Bauhaus watch from Timex and Timex is a very respectable company in many ways. They produce uh, some quality watches but for a pretty low price. Uh, so you're getting a basically historical company with uh, pretty good quality in general but for a very low price. The Fairfield can be had under 50 bucks if you buy it off Amazon. They are a bit more expensive at the official Timex uh, shop. But if you get them on Amazon, you can get them very, very cheap. And I think for the money, you're getting decent quality, decent movement. You're getting the good looking Bauhaus design, uh, very similar to Danny Wellington, but for a fraction of the price. So I can actually highly recommend the Fairfield, uh, Timex Fairfield watches, as I think they, they are great value for your money. Okay, the next watch is actually from Seiko, and this is the Seiko SUR201. And this is not exactly a Bauhaus uh, look, Bauhaus watch, but it, uh, it is very similar, and I thought it's a great watch for the money. You, they can be had under 100 bucks, around 70 bucks perhaps, and uh, you're getting a Seiko quality watch with a Seiko movement, a really nice Japanese quartz movement and uh, Seiko in general offers great value for the money. I'm a big fan of Seikos as some of you guys know. So if you're looking for something similar to Bauhaus design, something similar to a Danny Wellington but doesn't want exactly the same look, you want something a bit more unique perhaps, I think this is a really nice option. But if you're looking for that true Bauhaus look, this is not really the watch for you. If you really want that Bauhaus look, you can have the Belova 96B104. And this is a really nice looking Bauhaus watch. Belova is a pretty respected brand in general. They offer solid watches for a decent price. And this is no exception. They can be had on Amazon for around 80 bucks. And for that price, they have a great size of 37 millimeters, which I think is almost perfect for a Bauhaus watch. They offer great quality. And these watches offer a lot better value for your money. You're getting a lot better quality than the Dallian Wellington, uh, a respected brand, but for a lot cheaper price. So for 80 bucks, I can highly recommend this watch if you're looking for something respectable with good quality and a good movement, a Japanese movement, Japanese quartz for that matter. Uh, so this watch is probably one of my top picks under 100 bucks for a Bauhaus looking watch. Another watch from a very respectable brand is the Tissot Everytime. And this watch is uh, very, very similar to the Danny Wellington. It's a bit more expensive than the Belova. These can be had for around 150 bucks on the gray market. But uh, if you're looking to spend that kind of money on a quartz watch, I think the Tissot every time is far, far better than the Danny Wellington. I would rather pick the Tissot for that kind of money than the Danny Wellington. I think the Tissot, you're getting a very respectable brand from 1853. They are a part of this watch group these days. But Tissot makes excellent watches in the low to mid range. And I personally, I really like Tissot. I think they offer great value. So if you're looking for that Bauhaus look and want to spend a bit more money, uh, but still under 200 bucks, I think this is a great option. 
Okay, let's move on to some automatic uh, Bauhaus watches. And yes, you can buy a automatic Bauhaus watch for cheaper than you can have the Danny Wellington. My top picks in this category is probably the uh, Ryder M003 with the Seagull Automatic ST1731 movement. Uh, they are 38 millimeters in diameter, 10 millimeters thick, got a sapphire crystal and uh, decent in quality. Uh, you can argue about the movement, but uh, Seagull movements in general are among the most respected Chinese movements. So if you're looking for an automatic uh, Bauhaus watch, I think the Rider with the blue hands are really, really nice option. You can get them for around 130 bucks from the Seagull website. And uh, this movement is not the most accurate or the most reliable perhaps, but they are pretty robust in general. And I have heard a lot of good things about Seagull movements. On some of them, the quality control um, is not the best, but in general, they work fine. Another great automatic watch is from Seagull and this is basically the same watch but uh, with Seagull on the dial. I would probably pick this one before the rider uh, because Seagull is the original uh, Chinese company. Seagull in general, same as the other watch, the rider, they are good watches. They can be had for around 120 bucks as well. Offered a reliable ST70 movement, same as the Rider. They have good size of 38 millimeters. And yeah, so if you're looking for an automatic watch, an automatic Bauhaus watch, I think for this price, the Seagull and the Rider are both good alternatives. Okay, let's move on to watches in the same price range as the Danny Wellington. Uh, the prices can vary a bit, so some of these may be a bit more expensive and some may be a bit cheaper. In this price range, you can have some excellent watches. Some of these watches I really, really like. And we can start with the Orient Capital. Uh, you can have this watch for around $100. So that's an excellent uh, price. Uh, Orient is a Japanese uh, brand, a sub brand of uh, Seiko. And Orient in general, if you watch my other videos, they are great, offer great watches for the price. Very similar in quality to Seiko's. Uh, in some ways, Orient watches in this price range are even better quality than Seiko. And this quartz watch offers great value for your money. You're getting very good quality and finishing. The looks are really, really nice. I can highly recommend this watch if you want something very respectable, very good looking. Japanese with the Japanese craftsmanship and all that but for a very good price of around 100 bucks Another great watch a bit more expensive at around 150 dollars They can be had at a much lower price than that around 110 as well if you look around a bit and the Orient Bambino It's not the true Bauhaus look but the version 3 in generation 2 looks very similar to a Bauhaus watch. I've actually done a review of this watch and I can leave it down in the description. Uh, but the Orient Bambino is an automatic watch with hacking and hand winding. And it's probably my absolute favorite watch around $150. You're getting amazing quality and finish for the price. You're getting an in-house Japanese Orient movement. The looks of the watch is great and uh, I can highly highly recommend the Orient Bambino they come in different uh, dial combinations dial colors and all that so you can pick your favorite one but the version 3 uh, looks very similar to a Bauhaus watch another great uh, automatic watch is the Citizen NH8350 this is not a true Bauhaus either but I thought I'd include it in this list as I think it's a fantastic automatic watch for the price you are getting a really nice Japanese uh, watch with good quality finishing and an in-house Miura 8215 movement with uh, hand winding not hacking unfortunately but uh, these come in a variety of uh, dial colors uh, the most popular one uh, which I reviewed is the blue dial version and unfortunately that one is a bit hard to come by but if you find one for around hundred dollars I think 
it's hard to beat that watch at that price. Uh, the blue dial is absolutely gorgeous. And I would pick that one over a Danny Wellington all day. I have also done a review of the black version. That one looks great as well. This It's basically the same watch as the blue dial version, but with the black dial, of course. Um, so if you can't find the blue dial, I highly recommend the black dial as well. I can leave a link to those watches down in the description. Another really, really good watch is the Tissel Bauhaus. Uh, it's a 38 millimeter watch with the Miura 9050 movement, a really nice high beat uh, movement, beats at 28,800 beats per hour. It's from Tissel, a South Korean brand. Uh, they are known for very good finishing and quality and the quality control for that matter, which is a very important part and important factor in this price range. And uh, the Tissel Bauhaus is the typical Bauhaus look, the typical Bauhaus design. Um, a very very good movement and it's probably one of the um, best value for your money watches in this price range thanks to the quality and the movement as the Miura 1950 movement is an absolute beast in this price range gorgeous looking as well the finishing quality is very high and uh, so if you plan on spending around $200 on a watch I can highly recommend it to sell Bauhaus. Another really nice watch, doesn't look exactly like a Bauhaus either, but very similar, very dressy, is the Seiko SRP701. Uh, this watch can be had for around $160. And this watch comes with the Seiko 4R35 movement. And the 4R35 is basically a newer version of the 7S26 or the equivalent. So a really nice movement with hacking and hand winding and you're getting the Seiko quality and finishing which is uh, of course great as Japanese watches in general in this price range offers very high value for money and this watch is of course no exception very good looking high quality and finishing uh, a very nice Japanese in-house movement and all that for under $200 I think that is really hard to beat. It's a uh, very similar in uh, quality and value to the Citizen and the Orient and the Tissel for that matter. Uh, if you want something a bit more unknown. So yeah, this is a another really nice watch. The final watch in this category is the Junkers 6075 Bauhaus. And Junkers is a German brand and they make fantastic watches for the money. This watch can be had for 200 euros and I think uh, VAT is included in that price. So if you're outside the EU, you, you can remove the VAT from the price. This watch got a Swiss course movement and uh, Junkers is a highly respectable brand and they offer great watches for a decent price. So if you want something a bit more exclusive, uh, something European, German, I think this is a really nice uh, Bauhaus watch. And uh, I know that many, many people really like Junkers. And so do I, so I can highly recommend this watch. Okay, the final category, and that is watches that are more expensive than the Daily Wellington. And perhaps you want something more exclusive while uh, uh, wanting that uh, same look as the Danny Wellington and uh, in this price range you can have some fantastic watches some are more high-end than the others but in general all of these watches offers great value and great uh, quality and finishing and we can start with my probably my absolute favorite uh, watch considering the price in this uh, category and that is the Hamilton Intramatic I can start off with saying that I own one of these and I will do a review in the future of it. But the Hamilton Intramatic is just a perfect watch for the price. They can be had for perhaps $600, give or take. And uh, they have the EDA 2892 movement, a very good looking and very respected movement from ETA. It's a step up from the ETA 2824 that we usually see in watches. Uh, this movement uh, 
is a lot thinner than the 2824 so the watch in general can be thinner as well and the Intramatic is no exception the case is around 7 to 8 millimeters in thickness so it wears very very small on your wrist and very slim I should say that's a better word and uh, I think the styling of the watch and the looks is just perfect and one of my favorite things about the watch is actually the a crown I think the crown looks amazing it's pretty big so it's easy to grip and I think it just looks amazing and this watch is very vintage and retro inspired and I paired it with a uh, pretty nice uh, Milanese or mesh bracelet and I think it looks fantastic another great watch and this is a bit cheaper it can be had for around four hundred dollars and this is the Kent Wang uh, Bauhaus version 4 and uh, this watch also got the Miura 9015 movement it is 38 millimeters as well so it's a really nice uh, size and uh, I know a lot of people really like the Kent Wang Bauhaus and this is probably among the better the most value for your money watches uh, Bauhaus watches you can get in this price range so if you want a step up from the Tissell and uh, you don't want to spend the same kind of money as on the Hamilton I think this is a really nice alternative another great watch in the same price range in around $500 is the Junkers uh, Bauhaus but with the automatic movement this watch got the Miura 9132 and it's basically a different version as the 1950 in the previous watch but with some added complications as we can see on the dial and with all junkers they are German as it's a German brand for the price of around 500 bucks I think this is a really really nice um, watch and it offers a great value for your money you get the German design the German craftsmanship and of course a very respectable brand so if you want something German very high quality I think this is a really nice watch and a really nice alternative if you want something German, you can also get the Laco uh, Halle 38, I hope I pronounced that correctly. This watch can also be had for around uh, $500 and uh, as I said, this is a German made uh, watch. And uh, same with Junkers, highly respected brand, great finishing quality. This watch is a bit more true to the original Bauhaus look than the Junkers, but uh, this watch is very comparable in quality to the Junkers got the same movement and all that uh, sapphire crystal around 10.5 millimeters thick so a decent size and uh, I think you can't really go wrong with uh, neither Junkers or Laco if if you're looking for a German watch in this price range and you can also get some more expensive watches um, these are really nice watches and they offer very good value as well uh, even though they are a bit more expensive than the rest of the watches and uh, the first one is the Junghans Max Bill Automatic this can be ha had for around 875 euros so a thousand dollars give or take and uh, this is one of the original Bauhaus watches and this is highly regarded in the watch world in the watch community uh, it's a fantastic watch for the price it looks amazing the quality and finishing is uh, amazing as well uh, it's made in Germany it, you got that typical German and Bauhaus look and uh, this is a really really nice watch it got the automatic caliber J801 and I believe that is the equivalent to the EDA2824 if I'm not mistaken so an a highly respected ETA movement it can be the Celida as well the Celida SW200 movement um, great movement as well so all in all the Junghans Max Bill even though it's a bit more expensive is uh, a fantastic watch all around and I can highly recommend it if you're planning to spend a bit more on your watch you can also get the Stova Bauhaus and uh, this is to many people 
uh, one of the better Bauhaus watches in this price range. It's also one of the original. There has been some discussion about it, but I think it's the original uh, Bauhaus watch. And it can also be had for around $1,000, uh, perhaps a bit more. And uh, the Stova Antia is uh, among my favorite Bauhaus watches. And I think it looks great. The movement is highly decorated. It looks beautiful at around uh, 1000 to $1,200. I think this is uh, an amazing watch. The final watch and the most expensive watch in this video, and that's the uh, Nomos Tangente. This is probably one of the most popular Bauhaus watches right now. It offers fantastic value for your money. It's uh, from Nomos, a highly regarded brand. They offer luxury watches, but for a very reasonable price they are of course made in germany in-house and uh, these watches are amazing on many levels and it got a very very nice movement the they say it's an in-house uh, caliber alpha but i think it's based on the eta 70 or one movement uh, but uh, they have done some modification to it and all that so uh, it's a fantastic movement. It's very thin manual winding, highly decorated. It looks fantastic in my opinion. And of course this watch is a bit more expensive, but you're getting a luxury watch, but for a reasonable price. Okay, that is all watches I was going to discuss today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, found some watches that you like. And I tried to include a watch for everyone, no matter your budget. And I think no matter which watch you buy on this list, I think you're going to be very satisfied as all of them offers great value for your money. And uh, I think all of these watches are probably better than the Daniel Wellington, even the cheaper ones. As uh, Daniel Wellington is uh, not the best value for your money watch, if I put it like that. Um, but we should thank Daniel Wellington for actually introducing watches to a lot of people and uh, if you ask a lot of people that are into watches right now the first watch they had was actually a Danny Wellington so I think that's very interesting and when they first bought the Danny Wellington they became interested in watches in general and uh, Danny Wellington actually introduced me a couple of years ago when a friend of mine bought a Danny Wellington watch and I thought this is pretty good looking and I want something similar but uh, automatic so I started uh, researching watches and I actually found the Orient Bambino so the Orient Bambino was my first automatic watch and uh, the Bambino as I talked about before is a perfect uh, watch in that price range okay this was a very long video so thanks for watching and I hope I see you in the next one